In my past, I have been asked many times, do I buy my boots with holes in them? And a lot of times you'll see um, the boots that I wear will have holes around them. And, you know, the biggest reason why I do that is, you know, working in the steel industry most of my life, you know, I was on, you know, asphalt, concrete, um, you know, a, just a concrete floor like this sometimes. And what happens is all day of, you know, walking around, it gets hard on your back, you know? Um, so what I do is I just drill holes in them to kind of soften the blow when you walk. So as you step down, it kind of gets a little bit more cushiony. Um, it's kind of a shock absorber type of setup for my boots. Um, and then I've owned a lot of different boots over my lifetime. I mean, I've been wearing them since I was 16 years old. So um, these ones here are a, a thorough good boot. They're made in the USA. They're actually a pretty good boot. Um, I've got, I've had Red Wings, I've had Wolverines, I've wore all of them. Um, any of them that are in the top, you know, top five boot maker because, you know, I wear them all day. They're like, I wear them all day. I wear them on dates. I wear them to Disneyland. Uh, I wear them to the beach. Um, and then I'll take them off and put my flip flops on, but I, I wear them all the time. So to make them more comfortable, cause I live my life in a pair of boots most of the time. Um, I like these cause they're the high top. They support my ankle a little bit better. Um, you know, this is not a commercial really for uh, Thoroughgood, but they are an American made boot and I like them. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I drill holes in them. Um, usually I start off with a 9 16th drill bit on these boots. If you go with the Wolverine, they're a little bit thicker and you can put a bigger bit in there. Um, but these, I like to be careful when you drill them because they do, uh, they will uh, go into the, the top of your boot inside the sole up where your heel of your foot is and you can screw shit up. The good thing about these boots, and I've, I know it seems kind of crazy that like I know it this well, <laughs> but um, there is different kinds of uh, sole material. Um, I know that these boots right here actually have the more dense sole, so it's easier to drill into. You got to be careful with the Wolverines, they're a little softer. So what'll happen is it'll pull chunks out of them and it'll easily go up into the sole of your boot. So you got to be really careful. I always take a Sharpie here and I lay them out first. So let's say I'm going to start my first one there, my next one there, my next one there, my next one there. Okay, and then over here, I don't really measure it. I don't really care. I'm just trying to get a a good, uh, you know, good guide point for them. So that's one boot. I'll keep it over here so you can kind of see a little bit better on my angle. Go in easy and straight. You want to be careful. You don't want to go up into your sole. I go quite a ways in there too, because you want to comfort it where you're walking. This will be your next one. You could drill a pilot if you want. Now this one will cross the other one. There you go. See, it crossed over into that one. That's good. That means you're creating a lot of cushion there. And people want to know if it wears out your soles. Not really. You'll wear the boot out before you wear this out. I've done it a hundred times, so I know, but there you go. Sometimes you can kind of clean it out a little bit too, if you want to see what this one looks like. You'll kind of come across on the other side. You'll start to hit the other one too. This gets a little shallow right here, so you want to be careful. You don't want to go up into your boot. You don't want to go up into your sole because that'll ruin your boots. But it's really pretty simple. Just keep it straight. There's kind of one part of the back of the boot. I mean, you can see that it's not like 100% measured out right. If you want to take your time and measure it out right. And then if you want to, 
you could put a smaller drill bit in and keep it going a little bit further down. You know what I mean? Kind of put a few in right here, just kind of one side of your foot where it kind of hurts right there. You know, you walk on your foot quite a bit right here on this side. I know I overwalk the side of my boots a lot on this side, so it's nice to put a little bit of cushion in there too. On drilling your boots out, just be sure that you get it secure because you can twist this thing and it can wind up cutting your, <laughs> drilling through your hand or whatever. Um, but anyway, what I like to do when I'm done is sometimes when you drill it, there's a little bit of leftover from the foam that the, the drill bit didn't get. So I take like this one here is like a half inch piece of, uh, you know, hot roll. And here's a quarter inch piece of hot roll. So I heat the tips up with a torch. You don't have to go this extreme. This is like the one I got laying around the shop, but you can use like a little butane torch that gets hot enough. Um, heat it up and just kind of sump simply put it in there and turn it a little bit and clean the holes up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to try that and see how it works out. See if she'll work. Okay, this thing got some wind in it. Okay. I'm gonna turn all this shit on. Big shit right here. This ain't no little tiny one if you get at Home Depot. This is the real shit, okay? But you can use the, uh, the little baby one. And I use them all the time, I'll be honest with you. This is a rosebud, which you probably don't need that either. This is pretty extreme, but... I had it, so I thought I'd let you see what a rosebud looks like if you don't know what one is. This is for heating up some big shit right here. See that? If you wanna get shit hot in a hurry, this is what you do. Let's grab a boot. You can get this probably pretty hot and almost do all of them with it if you get it hot enough. If you use the little butane torch, you'll probably have to heat it up a couple times to get through the process. See that? Gets it hot quick. Hold a little bit of heat in there. Okay. I kind of round off the edges on it too. So I'll put it in the grinder and I'll grind it so it tapers it a little bit. So when you put it in there, you just give it a little twist. See how it cleans that hole up really nice? Just kind of give it a little twist. You don't have to put it in there very long. Just give it a little turn. See that? Because mm -hmm. if you go too much, you get a little residue left over after like that. So see how it cleaned that up really good? I probably got enough heat in here to do this one too. Just get in there and kind of twist it, clean it up. Right now it seems kind of like why would somebody spend the time to do this, but when you do this and you start working, if you work, you'll know why. It feels a lot better on your feet, believe me. There, there's all the big ones done. See how it just kind of cleans the hole up, makes it look kind of nice. This one here will cool down a lot quicker because it's just less material, it won't hold the heat. So you'll probably have to heat this one up a few times. This one here will just come in here, grab these little ones. Give them a little turn, a little turn. If you want to get really crazy and space them out like perfect, you can. I just kind of guessed on where they're at because I'm trying to make this a couple minute video instead of 20 minutes. See that? But there you go. I mean, that's pretty much how it goes. And you can see now how it's kind of comfortable to wear. Um, when you actually step now, you could see that it crushes that. You can see how like when you go back and forth, it absorbs weight. Well, you know, I'm, I'd like to say that I'm about 190 pounds, but I'm probably realistically 195. Um, I might be 200, I'm just saying, but. 
I'm gonna say I'm 190 pounds. So when I walk and you got all that, you know, you're stepping all the time. I mean, I walk, I don't know, maybe 10 miles a day in here around, you know, that's a lot. So, you know, that's one way of doing it. But anyway, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, if I was gonna do it, I would use probably these boots cause they got a good sole in them and they'll last a long time. Um, but uh, that's my little trick on, you know, drilling out my boots. So make sure that you guys uh, like this video, subscribe. There'll be other little how to do things. I mean, this is not like that big of a deal. It's just everyday life for me. And you know, when you're playing basketball or you're playing a sport, you want comfortable shoes. Um, work boots, I think more people wear boots more than they do sports shoes when they're working. And you know, there's not really, uh, it is a sport. I mean, basically we're out here working our butts off every day, walking around on this concrete and asphalt, doing construction, things like that. So, um, or in your shop, fabricating a car, or building something. I mean, it's, it's tough on your feet. So this is just a little quick trick. If you wanna do it, cool. If you don't and you think it sucks, that's cool too. But I thought it was cool. Anyway, make sure you check it out, like it, subscribe it. We'll see you later.